The story begins with Kong Temu, a young, handsome businessman, just arriving back in Korea with his secretary, Cha Sung Hoon. Temu is the president and director of a large food company, making him an admired figure with a strong presence. That day, his company has arranged a special welcoming ceremony for him. However, instead of attending, Temu asks his secretary, Sung Hoon, to go and give the welcome speech on his behalf. Apparently, Temu has another meeting planned. As a result, when his grandfather, Mr. Kong, finds out that Temu missed the ceremony on purpose, he becomes very angry. While Sung Hoon is at the ceremony, Temu secretly meets with Mr. Park, one of the senior managers in the company. Temu knows that Mr. Park has been using company resources for his own benefit. He decides to confront him directly, warning Mr. Park that his dishonest behavior will not be tolerated. Meanwhile, the scene shifts to Shin Hari, who works as a food researcher at GoFood, the same company Temu leads. Hari is part of the research team under her boss, Mrs. Yeo. At the same time, that day happens to be Hari's birthday, and her team plans a small celebration for her. However, Hari cancels the party at the last minute because she receives a message from her longtime crush, Lee Min Woo, inviting her to meet him. Excited, Hari accepts his invitation without hesitation. On her way to the restaurant where Min Woo works, Hari chats with her best friend, Jean Young So. She shares her excitement, and Young So encourages her, suggesting that maybe Min Woo has feelings for her too, especially since he gave her a nice birthday gift the previous year. But when Hari arrives at the restaurant, she feels disappointed. Min Woo hands her a concert ticket, casually mentioning that she should take someone she's dating. Because of this, Hari realizes that Min Woo doesn't see her as more than a friend. Back at Tae Moo's family home, Mr. Kong, still upset with his grandson, decides to push Tae Moo into marriage. He knows Tae Moo is focused solely on work and hasn't made time for relationships, so he arranges a series of blind dates with high society women. Tae Moo, however, feels these dates are a waste of time and refuses. With no other option, Mr. Kong and Taemu make a deal. If Taemu agrees to go on the blind dates, Mr. Kong will support his wish to fire Mr. Park. On the other hand, Hari faces a personal problem. She accidentally damages something belonging to her neighbor and now needs to pay him 800,000 won in compensation. Feeling lost, she shares her dilemma with Young So, who comes up with a surprising idea where she asks Hari to go on a blind date in her place. It was revealed that Young So comes from a wealthy family, but she doesn't want to follow her father's plan for her to marry someone he chooses. All this time, she wants to marry someone she truly loves, so she decides to skip the blind date her father arranged. Instead, Young So asks her friend Hari to go on the date in her place and purposely mess things up. To make it worthwhile, Young So offers Hari 800,000 won as payment and she agrees without hesitation. However, Hari is in for a big surprise when she arrives at the date and finds out that her date is none other than Kong Temu, the CEO of her company. Since she's already committed to the plan, Hari does her best to act in a wild way, hoping it will make Temu dislike her. She pulls out all kinds of antics to make him want to end the date. Strangely, instead of being annoyed, Temu is intrigued by her behavior. He finds Hari's boldness refreshing, Assuming she's just being her true self, different from the usual refined women from rich families he's used to meeting. At one point, a woman mistakes Hari for her husband's girlfriend, creating an awkward scene. Hari then seizes the chance to make herself look even worse in Temu's eyes, hoping it will push him away. But to her surprise, this only makes Temu even more interested in her. He finds her attitude unique and starts thinking about marrying her. Later, Hari proudly thinks she succeeded in ruining the blind date. But Young So tells her that Kong Temu actually asked her to marry him. Meanwhile, Young So, while at a convenience store, accidentally bumps into a little boy who's upset. To cheer him up, she draws cute flowers on her white skirt to make him smile. Without her knowing, Temu's secretary, Sung Hoon, witnesses her kindness and is moved by her caring nature. They bump into each other again and Young So feels a spark of attraction for the charming Sung Hoon. The next day, Hari goes back undercover as Young So to meet Temu again, determined to make it clear that they won't be dating or getting married. She wants to put an end to the mix-up once and for all. But just as she's about to meet Temu, she sees Min Woo, 
her longtime crush coming toward her. Embarrassed by her heavy makeup and fancy outfit, Hari quickly hops into a nearby car to hide, only to find herself face to face with Taemu and his secretary, Sung Hoon, once again. Inside the car, Taemu asks why she doesn't want to marry him. Still trying to make him lose interest, Hari boldly says she finds him unattractive, comparing his face to a bird. Despite this, Taemu seems unfazed and even more curious about her strange behavior. Later, Young So takes Hari out for drinks, excited to share about the handsome man she met outside the convenience store. She hopes they'll run into him again, as she's developed a crush on him after their brief encounter. The following day at work, Hari's colleague, a young woman named Heiji, asks their team leader, Mrs. Yeo, if she can introduce her to her date. Curious, Hari secretly follows Heiji to see who this date might be. To her shock, she discovers that Heiji's date is Min Wu, the man Hari has been in love with for a long time. Heartbroken, Hari feels a wave of sadness knowing that her co-worker is dating the person she cares for so deeply. Soon after, Hari accidentally gets involved in an embarrassing incident at the office, which catches Taemu's attention, causing him to chase after her. Nervous, Hari tries to hide her face, but Taemu recognizes her name, having read a proposal she submitted. Unexpectedly, he's quite interested in her ideas and eager to learn more. That night, Young So is reluctantly forced to meet Taemu in person. She admits that she hired someone to pretend to be her on their blind date, as she didn't want her family to control her marriage choices. Young So tries to end the matter, but instead, Taemu insists on meeting the woman who impersonated her, feeling annoyed at being tricked by both of them. Young So has no choice but to agree since Taemu promises to cancel their marriage arrangement if she brings him to Hari. Finally, Hari and Taemu meet again, though this time Taemu stumbles upon a business card for a chicken restaurant, which he learns is owned by Hari's family. Upon knowing her address, Taemu threatens to visit her family's restaurant and cause trouble unless she cooperates with him. Nervously, Hari apologizes for deceiving him and wasting his time, hoping he'll let the matter drop. However, Taemu isn't ready to forgive easily. Unable to pay him back with money, Hari promises to be available whenever he needs her. Despite this, Hari, still wanting to hide her true identity, tells Taemu her name is Shin Gumui, which is actually the name of a popular drama character loved by both her family and Mr. Kong. Not long after, Taemu's initial marriage arrangement with Young So is called off, so he's forced to go on one blind date after another, even traveling all the way to Japan to meet one of his grandfather's preferred matches. Exhausted by these endless dates, Taemu finally tells his grandfather that he already has a girlfriend. He then asks Hari to pretend to be his girlfriend in exchange for a generous payment. Hearing this, Hari hesitates, knowing she doesn't want to get even more entangled with her boss, yet she can't ignore her family's financial struggles, and the offer is tempting. After accidentally injuring Taemu, she reluctantly agrees to his plan. In the end, Taemu asks Hari to memorize everything about him and the love story he has crafted so that his grandfather won't suspect their relationship is fake. Elsewhere, Young So's father again tries to arrange a blind date for her, hoping she'll marry someone who can lead their family business. But Young So, wanting to be free from family expectations, decides to leave home and give up all the luxuries her father provides. Meanwhile, at Go Food, Mrs. Yeo faces a crisis when the chef she recommended becomes involved in a scandal. Under pressure from Taemu to quickly find a replacement, Mrs. Yeo turns to Hari, asking her to convince Min Wu to step in as the substitute chef. After some convincing, Min Wu agrees, and Hari gets to work preparing everything for their team's new proposal to present to Taemu and other company executives. Since Hari was the one who created the proposal, Mrs. Yeo insists she should present it to the top management. Worried about Taemu recognizing her, Hari decides to wear a mask during the presentation, pretending she has the flu to keep her identity hidden. That evening, after their proposal is approved, Hari eagerly goes to Min Wu's restaurant to share the good news with him. But when she arrives... She's heartbroken to see him kissing Yura, his ex-girlfriend. It was revealed that Min Wu and Yura have decided to get back together. As a result, Hari feels crushed as she watches, realizing that Min Wu, whom she has loved deeply for so long, only ever saw her as a friend. 
With her hopes dashed, she can't hold back her tears and starts crying. In her distress, Hari accidentally answers a call from Temu, who hears her crying on the other end. A few days later, Temu takes Hari to meet his grandfather, introducing her as his girlfriend. Mr. Kong immediately takes a liking to Hari, and they bond over their shared love of good food and laughter. While they're enjoying a meal together, Mr. Kong spots the concert ticket that Min Wu gave to Hari and assumes it was for her and Temu to attend together. In the end, he insists that Temu take Hari to the concert. The concert happens to be for Hari's favorite musician. During the performance, she hears a song that reminds her of Min Wu, who had wished her to attend with her future partner. Feeling overwhelmed, Hari remembers all the years she spent loving Min Wu, only to be seen as a friend. She then cries quietly throughout the concert. At the same time, Young So moves into her new apartment and discovers, to her surprise, that she is now living next door to Sung Hoon. After the concert, Hari opens up to Taemu about her unreturned feelings for Min Wu, who chose to get back together with his ex as they share a meal at a street stall. An unexpected accident happens, a stray ball hits Hari in the eye, causing it to swell. Before they part, Hari suggests to Temu that he end their fake relationship and focus on finding someone real, not wanting him to waste any more time on a pretend romance. She then gives Temu a gift from the concert and thanks him for being by her side. The next day at work, Hari tries to keep her swollen eye hidden so Temu won't see it. Meanwhile, Minwoo impresses Temu with his cooking skills, earning praise for the team and new opportunities to promote their products. Elsewhere, Sung Hoon acts distant toward Young So. Even rejecting the idea of friendship because he doesn't want complications with their families due to the canceled match between Young So and Taemu. Young So, pretending not to care, tries to keep her distance when they see each other at the gym. While at the gym, she meets a man named Shin, her new neighbor, and tries to connect with him. Though Shin is kind and good looking, Young So realizes she's still drawn to Sung Hoon. Shin later gives her a lamp as a welcoming gift, which she graciously accepts but her heart remains uncertain. A few days later, Temu plans a special event to celebrate his anniversary with Hari. Although their relationship is fake, he organizes the evening with care and invites Hari to a fancy dinner at his grandfather's high-end restaurant. Unexpectedly, the evening turns out to be filled with memorable moments, as both Temu and Hari find themselves enjoying the romantic atmosphere and each other's company. After the dinner, Temu drives Hari home, but she accidentally leaves her wallet in his car. Curious about her real identity, Temu opens the wallet and is shocked to discover that Shin Gumwi is actually Shin Hari, one of his employees. To keep Hari from finding out that he knows the truth, Temu places the wallet near her family's restaurant. Soon after, Hari's younger brother, Hamin, finds it and returns it to her. Now aware that Hari has been deceiving him, Temu decides to make things challenging for her. At work, he creates difficult tasks for Hari and even forces her to act as his girlfriend in front of others. He also selects her as the recipient of the Best Employee Award, which means she has to attend the ceremony or pay a penalty if she refuses. Frustrated and feeling trapped, Hari struggles to cope with the situation. Meanwhile, Temu visits Sung Hoon's house and accidentally finds a package addressed to Young So. Not wanting Temu to know that Young So lives next door, Sung Hoon asks Young So to keep her distance from him. Respecting Sung Hoon's wishes, Young So begins avoiding him, even sitting far away when they happen to meet at a diner. Weighed down by all her stress, Hari tries to let off steam by drinking heavily. In her drunken state, she calls Taemu, apologizing and begging him to cancel the penalty since she can't afford to pay it. As she becomes more intoxicated, Hari accidentally falls, alarming Taemu. Concerned for her safety, Temu goes looking for her. When he finally finds her, Hari, still drunk, confesses that she is Shin Hari and apologizes for lying. Temu realizes that he has developed real feelings for her, so he decides to fire her alter ego, Shin Gumwi, thereby ending their fake relationship. Hearing this, Hari feels relieved and happy to finally be free from this burden. In another part of town, Young So accidentally breaks the lamp Shin gave her and discovers a hidden camera inside. When she attempts to report the incident to the police, she encounters Shin, 
who tries to silence her by taking the evidence and shoving her down. Sung Hoon, witnessing the incident, immediately chases Shin down and ensures he is taken to the police station. At the station, Taemu and Hari arrive, and Taemu accidentally calls Hari by her real name, catching her by surprise. Despite Sung Hoon's efforts, Shin is released with only a fine, as the evidence is considered insufficient for further punishment. Young So and Hari feel upset and frustrated, sensing that justice wasn't served. Upon hearing about Hari's friend being in trouble, Taemu steps in to help. He threatens Shin and ensures that legal action is taken, pushing for his victims to sue him so that he faces serious consequences and ends up behind bars. Taemu, realizing he's fallen in love with Hari, decides to confess his feelings and invites her to a special dinner. However, Hari assumes he's planning to fire her and nervously begs him not to. At the same time, Sung Hoon, noticing Taemu's eagerness, advises him to take it slow and get closer to Hari first. Especially since their previous relationship was fake and she might doubt his true feelings. Meanwhile, Hari's friends frequently tease her about not having a boyfriend. Tired of hearing this, Young So tells them that Hari actually has a handsome, wealthy boyfriend. Hearing this news, Min Woo looks unexpectedly uncomfortable. Not long after, Taemu, wanting to spend time alone with Hari and create a romantic setting, arranges an out of town business trip as a reason to be with her. Around the same time, Young So, who's having a drink at a bar, bumps into Sung Hoon. Trying to avoid him, Young So turns away, but Sung Hoon, frustrated by her behavior, firmly grabs her arm and tells her to stop avoiding him. A bit tipsy, Young So confesses that she fell for Sung Hoon at first sight. Surprising her, Sung Hoon reveals he feels the same, and they share a kiss. That night, a thunderstorm brings back painful memories for Taemu, reminding him of the rainy day he lost his parents in an accident. Distressed, he suddenly drops Hari off partway to their destination and drives off to be alone. Realizing he acted impulsively, Taemu quickly returns, but by the time he arrives, Hari has already left for the hotel. At that moment, she unexpectedly runs into Yura and some old friends. They start pressuring Hari to introduce her rich, handsome boyfriend. Luckily, Taemu appears just in time, introducing himself as Hari's boyfriend. To support his story, Hari goes along with the act, and Taemu confidently tells her friends that he is the CEO of GoFood. He even treats everyone to dinner at a fancy restaurant, impressing them all. Yura later shares with Minwoo that Hari is dating her boss, Kong Taemu, which makes both Yura and Minwoo feel jealous, realizing Hari is with a wealthy, attractive man. The next morning, Young So wakes up in Sung Hoon's bedroom, shocked to realize she had a one night stand with him. Embarrassed, she asks him to forget it ever happened, which leaves Sung Hoon feeling hurt and disappointed. Meanwhile, Taemu continues to make a positive impression on Hari's friends ensuring they stop making fun of her for not having a boyfriend. That evening, he finally gathers the courage to confess his love to Hari and gives her some time to think about her answer. At that moment, Hari is stunned by Taemu's heartfelt confession, unable to believe that her boss, Kong Taemu, is genuinely in love with her. Not long after, Mr. Kong discovers that Taemu is dating Hari and becomes furious, thinking Taemu has been unfaithful to Shin Gumwi. At that moment, Taemu finally admits that he ended things with Gumwi. At the same time, Hari is feeling torn about her own emotions. Initially, she planned to turn down Taemu's confession, but the thought of being apart from him makes her sad. One day at the office, Taemu secretly meets Hari and asks her for an answer about their relationship. Trying to avoid being seen by Mr. Kong, Taemu quickly invites Hari to hide with him. Hari then tells Taemu that their relationship may not work because of their different social statuses. Knowing Mr. Kong disapproves, Hari reluctantly rejects Taemu, even though she has feelings for him. But Taemu isn't ready to give up and promises to try to make things work. He even asks Hari to stay by his side and they share a kiss. However, Hari feels conflicted and tells Taemu to forget it happened. Elsewhere, Young So and Sung Hoon clear up the misunderstanding from their one night stand and they finally start officially dating. At the same time, Taemu, determined to make Hari happy, plans affectionate outings, taking her out to dinner 
and on a playful date at the amusement park. But their date is interrupted by a call from Hari's mother, who informs her that her father is in the hospital due to surgery for appendicitis. As a result, Taemu and Hari rush to the hospital, where Hari introduces Taemu to her parents, pretending he is just a friend and not her boss. She also hides Taemu's true identity since her parents disapprove of GoFood CEO, seeing him as cold and strict, especially toward employees like Hari. Meanwhile, Min Wu, who has been helping Ha Min at the family's restaurant, injures himself and goes into Hari's room to find some medicine. There, he stumbles upon the fake relationship contract between Hari and Taemu. Shocked, Min Wu assumes their romance is only an act. Later, Taemu confronts Hari about being seen as a harsh boss and jokingly asks her for a kiss as punishment. Unexpectedly, Min Wu overhears their conversation and angrily confronts Taemu. Almost starting a fight, Hari quickly steps in, sending Taemu home and pulling Min Wu away. Min Wu then accuses Taemu of orchestrating the fake relationship and insults him. However, Hari defends Taemu, telling Min Wu he shouldn't interfere in her personal life. Later, she texts Taemu to apologize. Meanwhile, after learning that Taemu has broken up with Gum Wee, Mr. Kong sets up another blind date for him. This time, Taemu's date is Zhou Yu Jung, the daughter of the head of Marine Group and Young So's boss. Although reluctant, Taemu agrees to go along with his grandfather's wishes and attends the date. Meanwhile, Hari joins a company volleyball match where the winning team gets a special reward, a chance to go on a date with the company's charming CEO, Kong Taemu. Not wanting anyone else to date Taemu, Hari pushes herself to win, despite having an injured hand. With determination, Hari leads her team to victory. But her joy fades when she learns that Taemu has already agreed to a blind date with a wealthy woman. Feeling heartbroken and not wanting to lose Taemu, Hari calls him, asking him to cancel the blind date and take responsibility for making her fall so deeply in love. To her surprise, Taemu never intended to go on the date. He's already waiting outside her house, eager to see her. They then meet at a beautiful, romantic spot where they share their feelings and confess their love, ending with a heartfelt kiss. Elsewhere, Taemu has arranged for Sung Hoon to go on the blind date with Yu Jung in his place. During the date, Sung Hoon tells Yu Jung that Taemu has his heart set on someone else, so the date won't be going anywhere. Surprisingly, Yu Jung seems interested in Sung Hoon, captivated by his looks, even though he mentions having a girlfriend. With their relationship now official, Taemu showers Hari with romantic gestures. He shares breakfast with her before work and sends her sweet gifts at the office, sparking curiosity among her colleagues. Additionally, Taemu boldly invites her to lunch in front of Min Wu and some reporters, proudly acknowledging her win in the volleyball match. One evening, Sung Hoon is startled when a very drunk Yu Jung shows up at his house, asking to use his bathroom. At the same time, Young So arrives at Sung Hoon's place for a planned dinner. Trying to avoid any trouble, Sung Hoon tells Young So he has guests, keeping Yu Jung's visit a secret. Elsewhere, Yu Ra pressures Min Wu to get married, but he declines, saying he isn't ready. Meanwhile, Mr. Kong finds out about Taemu sending Sung Hoon on his blind date with Yu Jung, and he is furious. Trouble doesn't end there. Young So eventually learns about Yu Jung's visit to Sung Hoon's place. Feeling hurt and betrayed, she confronts Sung Hoon and breaks things off. Later, Young So tells Hari everything, expressing her frustration that Sung Hoon always seems to follow Taemu's orders, even going on blind dates on his behalf. Curious and worried, Young So and Hari secretly follow Taemu and Sung Hoon one day. Not long after, they discover that the two have gone to an orphanage, where Sung Hoon's mother works as the director. At that moment, Sung Hoon's mother clears up the misunderstanding, explaining that Sung Hoon and Taemu share a bond like brothers. They've known each other since childhood, and Taemu's family has been a longtime supporter of the orphanage. With the misunderstanding cleared, Sung Hoon and Young So reconcile and agree to be more open with each other, promising that there will be no more secrets or misunderstandings between them. As Taemu and Ha Ri grow closer each day, Taemu feels eager to share their relationship with Mr. Kong, hoping his grandfather will accept and support them. But things take an unexpected turn when Hari's younger brother, Ha Min, 
discovers her relationship with Taemu. To keep Ha Min from telling their parents, Hari firmly warns him, reminding him that if he tells, she'll reveal that he once took money from their family's diner. One evening, Yura calls Hari to meet her, accusing Hari of trying to sabotage her relationship with Minwoo. It turns out that Yura began dating Minwoo partly to hurt Hari, knowing about her longtime feelings for him. But Hari has kept quiet about Yura's secret affair with another man, hiding it from Minwoo to protect him from heartbreak. When Hari explains her reasons, Minwoo, who has overheard everything, steps forward, looking both hurt and confused. Frustrated, Hari tells Minwoo that his indecisiveness is partly to blame leading Yura to accuse her of being the one trying to destroy their relationship. Later, Hari and Temu go on a date together, but suddenly, heavy rain begins to fall. Knowing that Temu has deep trauma related to rain, Hari tries her best to comfort him, keeping him distracted and calm so he doesn't dwell on painful memories. Mr. Kong eventually learns not only about Temu's relationship with Hari, but also that she pretended to be Shin Gumwi. Angry and disapproving, Mr. Kong confronts Hari, demanding that she end things with Temu. At the same time, hearing that his grandfather has confronted Hari, Temu rushes to find them, but on the way, he gets into a car accident. Fortunately, he suffers only a minor injury to his arm. Determined, Temu tells his grandfather that his feelings for Hari are genuine and that he's willing to fight for their love, even if his grandfather disapproves. That night, Hari stays with Temu at the hospital, providing comfort and support. It's there that Temu opens up about his painful past, sharing how his parents tragically passed away in an accident. Listening with empathy, Hari soothes him, offering a sense of peace. As they sit together, she unknowingly falls asleep by his side. The next day, Yura exposes Temu and Hari's relationship on social media, spreading false rumors that Hari was also involved with Minwoo. Since Temu is a prominent company leader, the post quickly goes viral, sparking intense public gossip. As a result, Mr. Kong, furious over the scandal, demands that the fake news be removed from the internet immediately. But word is already spread, and Hari becomes the center of harsh gossip, including among her co-workers. Hearing this, Mrs. Yeo, clearly irritated, informs Hari that their project will be transferred to another team because of the scandal. Feeling deeply frustrated and guilty, Hari is upset for causing trouble for her team. At the same time, Mr. Kong, hoping to end the relationship, decides to transfer Hari and Taemu to separate company branches. However, both refuse the transfer, determined to fight for their love. Meanwhile, Hari's parents learn about her relationship with her boss and express their disapproval, worried about the challenges that might come with dating someone in a much higher social position. In a surprising turn, Young So's father approves of her relationship with Sung Hoon and even invites them for a family dinner. During the dinner, Sung Hoon proposes to Young So and she happily accepts. During this time, Taemu searches for Hari, who has been avoiding everyone to calm her mind. When they finally reunite, they spend a heartfelt evening together, reconnecting and enjoying romantic moments. The following day, Taemu drives Hari home and formally seeks her parents' blessing. Hari's father, while supportive, expresses concern, not wanting his daughter to suffer because of the social gap between them. However, Temu reassures him, promising he will always protect Hari and ensure her happiness. Not only that, Temu also works to mend the issues by returning the project to Mrs. Yeo and her team, putting things back on track at the company. Soon after, Minwoo decides to break up with Yura and sets his sights on traveling to Europe to gain more culinary experience. Inspired to pursue her own dreams, Young So resigns from her father's company, determined to find her own path. She plans to start a new business, and Sung Hoon, believing in her ambition, offers to be her first investor. Meanwhile, Hari makes an effort to win over Mr. Kong, hoping he will approve of her relationship with Temu. Initially skeptical, Mr. Kong begins to warm up to Hari, appreciating her sincerity and kindness. However, his health starts to decline, and he must travel to the United States for treatment. As a result, Temu goes with him, meaning he and Hari must spend time apart. One year later, Temu finally returns to South Korea with good news. Mr. Kong has given his blessing, 
and Taemu is ready to propose to Hari, ready to start a future together with the full support of their families. Moral lesson from the story, love might be fake at first, but a fancy dinner and a volleyball game can make it real. And remember, the toughest obstacle in love is explaining to your family that your boyfriend is also your CEO.